Very, very busy week for me. All right, we're going to boil some crawfish today, so we're going to go ahead and show you the process. Mark is going to be the one boiling for us, but we're going to all be participating because it's a pretty large undertaking. Right now, all they're doing is putting some water on the crawfish to keep them alive until we're ready to cook them and picking out any dead ones that they see. They've got to be cooked alive, so anything that's dead has to be taken out. Trying to get a dead one. You need more, buddy. Easy. I got a little one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, bro. What are you grabbing? Yeah, you're grabbing. There you go. Get him in there. Yeah, get him in there. Yeah. You be talking. <laughs> He's purging. You got to pour salt in him, which makes him spit up all the mud and stuff that they're holding in their mouths. You'll notice that as he pours it, the water will get darker and darker. It's what we call purging. It's just cleaning them out before you cook them. So you don't end up cooking them in a pot of muddy water. show you now the things that we normally cook in um, a crawfish boil. Uh, excuse all the noise, the butane burner and everything running, it gets kind of loud. You always want to put you some red potatoes and some corn. We got a bunch of mushrooms cut up right here. Some people add uh, peanuts, uh, some people add turkey neck, some people even add goo. Uh, I have a little clip where I can show you how to do that. It makes kind of like an imitation crab meat kind of a thing. And all of this to the boil onions. I need to go get inside and get my onions and we'll then we'll start to get our dips ready.
the soak. How long? Ah, uh, it depends on how, how, how hot you want your coffee. The longer it soaks, the harder, the more seasoning it's got soaking. I usually let them soak two minutes, that's my thing. But however, you, if, the hotter you want them, you know, you can let them soak as long as you want. When I say hot, I meant spicy. Oh, oh don't drop it! No, Jacob! No, no more for you. You lost your chance. You lost his, oh, I'm gonna get him out. Here we go. It's so hot. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. Not in your teeth, in your mouth. I can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot? Yeah, almost. We're good. Sweet. Open up this side. Oh. We already opened it. Move 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 it. Yeah, we're going to the ice chest, so watch out we don't All get right, you. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up with this one. Mm -hmm. It's not that hot. Okay. Come on. Hold on. Put it back. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, don't put the tongue in here. Yum, yum. We got to uh, see the potatoes are done. All right. Get that knife. Mmm. I'm trying to see what I was doing now. That one's good. That was good. Yep, all right. they all good. All right, good. Get Tony's out, man. Sprinkle it. Keep on going. There you go. Keep on going until I take stuff. All right. Shake them up a little bit. Yep. Close the lid. Yep. Close the lid. You can't get no prettier than that. Getting all that. First thing, hold this pot. Just leave it up right here for us. Come on. Alright, take it over, man. Not all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Lower it, lower it. Yeah, I bet they are hot. They're the way to cool them off. Pass the Glenn and get the first sample. Try it out. Oh, too hot. That's how you crack it. Crack the size of the tail. Don't man my chest, I say boy well. <laughs> I guess it's good. Well, the mushroom anymore, we're gonna try y'all with mushroom. The mushroom soak up them seasons. Mushroom. Oh my god. Gotta have that mushroom and that Tony's in there.
We always make homemade dipping sauces, and I actually think I have um, some film already from a previous crawfish boil of how to make these, so I'll put that up as a separate video. But you always got to have your crawfishes. Your stable is your vinaigrette, that your homemade vinaigrette, and your combination uh, condiment thing. The rest is, is barbecue sauce type and kind of a ranch type, but I'll show you in a separate video how to make your, your sauces. Where are we going over here? Father, we come to you this time. We just give you thanks for this Easter festival. We have the Father, this crawfish ball, and we ask that you just touch the ones that prepared it and the ones that provided it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Bless the hands that have prepared it. just woke up even though it's the middle of the day it's not like everybody in the world is gonna see this <laughs> yeah, you got fans on your shoes, too. All out of the air. look here Ashley look at me look at me beautiful turn around look all yeah, the way they, at they, me. they come when the drawers are ready <laughs> are you having fun yes I am because you really look like you just crawled out of bed even though I know you really did because I just woke you up Almost missed it, girl. Mm. Yeah. What's up, Mason? I tried to get some at my house. Get some of them little green ones. They tried eating. I guess you don't eat crawfish. Jump on it, do you? Coca Cola, classic. Sauce bonle. <laughs> We just ain't been telling you, but you got some young boys that's got your fans, and they've been asking about you. We just ain't been telling you because we didn't want you to know. Ready, Archel? Right, stop. Can't be dedicated. Leave a couple up here. I never eat the first time. I always taste it to see how it's going. But the last well, batch is always the best. Spicy. The last batch. Yeah, yeah, it gets all the seasonings. I do see a big one that's crying for my name, though. Can you help it on that? I might see a big old tail, so nobody's on it. Yeah. Gotta get on this side, Ken, or Emma. Oh my god, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I can smell it. I'll tell you what, we need to put some water in that ice chest before. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to go to the other side. Run it down the back end of the table and eat it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, there's mushrooms in there. Oh, don't worry. Watch out, man. Can't be filming this. I gotta eat. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is all burning. That's so much. Oh, that's some good mushrooms. It's a mountain of crawfish. Hey, what? This is the best bath right here. I wouldn't know if you're full. 
And they get hot. Yeah, they hot. They full of juice. Mark, cool. Watch out. May the last one stay. Like I got hungry all over again. Show them how to suck the head, Ashley. Gonna be so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sacrifice one. No, I already told them I wouldn't a head sucker. She wouldn't hit for that. <laughs> God, did I throw that in your drink? Mm -mm, I think you did. <laughs> I want new. I already knew. See what? You can't just cat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me that blue glass. <laughs> Actually, is a crawfish eater. Give me that blue glass. Mmm, my goodness. Ashley's gonna be the last man standing. Uh -huh. I doubt that. Oh, it's coming with me. Stay right here. Man, boy, it's so nice. If I'm gonna eat, I want to eat a big one. All right, guys, got a crawfish right here. I decided to show you how it's my technique, at least there's about probably a bunch of them, and how to get the meat out of the claw. Because most people in a crawfish, they're gonna peel the tail, <laughs> eat the meat, toss the head. Well, I picked one big so you can see exactly the technique. Now, it works for any size, the smaller the claw, the harder it is, I find, but. Anyway, what I like to do is I, I start by breaking off the stationary part of the claw first. So you can see this one's mobile, this one's stationary. You want to break it right here at the very base of it to break a hole. Just take it on and put your two thumbs, mash together right at that point where it'll pivot. Where it pivots, you pull down on the left and right, it'll break a hole. Once you break a hole on that side, you have a free open range spot for the mobile side to pull straight on out. And you got all of the meat. That's how we do it. Don't be giving him secrets away. Here you go. Different styles for different people. Right. Some people are take it, twist it off, they'll suck the head. <laughs> Take that first wrangle. How oh, I like to do it. <laughs> Take that first wrangle, squeeze the bottom, and it comes out. Some people call that yellow stuff fat, but it ain't fat. <laughs> that ain't fat. That's what you see in the toilet. That is crawfish manure, and that's the rectum coming out. <laughs> we take all that out because ain't no telling what's in there. Oh, you're not supposed to eat. Dip it in whatever sauce they you eat like. Grass, but we don't eat it. And you see, Some it's clean. Eat. Solid meat. Sausage bon. Sausage bon. You want know to make show, show a crawfish? Like Ashley, you want to make a crawfish slushy so you can suck on it all day long? Now, Ashley, you should show them how to suck on the head. <laughs> she did. <laughs> and for those of you who are watching this and think to yourself, this is disgusting and you've never tried crawfish, you ain't lived till you try it. If you eat shrimp and lobster, crawfish is crawfish. way better. That's right. Well, it's We're through. We've stuffed with crawfish. And now we're just all teaming up to clean, to peel the tails for Easter dinner. A crawfish etouffee. Crawfish etouffee. With the leftovers. Oh, and the yeah. potatoes that's left over, we're going to make a potato salad. Cajun potato salad with crawfish in it. And the mm -hmm. corn, we're just going to eat. See? It's good. We got the mushrooms and the crawfish and the, cra the onions. We, we would invite y'all to come eat Easter, but by the time this films, we'd be done eating up. <laughs> Bye, plan. Booyah! A crawfish tail potato salad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. With the potatoes from the crawfish boy. I hate it when the. Got the mushrooms, the onions, and the crawfish, and the gravy. And the little. And the squash. potatoes, and more crawfish, and the potato salad. Waste not, not. Oh my God! That's a